Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ili Bayraktari, president of the Special Competitive Studies Project, who will deliver opening remarks. Thank you. Hi, good morning, everybody. Uh, distinguished guests, colleagues and friends, uh, welcome to the AI Plus Energy Summit. Uh, I'm Ili, president uh, of the Special Competitive Studies Project, and it is my pleasure to open this gathering. We're here today because we face two important junctures in the development of artificial intelligence. First, the question of how we will be able to power future large language models, both for training and for inference. And the second, the question for how the models themselves will affect our energy security and define the future of our country. It is a challenge that spans from the microchip to the power plant, from the data center to the national grid. And it's a challenge that we must meet head on if we're to maintain America's competitive edge in this crucial technology. Let me put this into perspective with a single figure. By 2028, AI data centers alone could use as much power as the citizens of California and New York City combined. It isn't just about building more power plants or laying more cable, though that's certainly part of it. It's about reimagining our energy infrastructure for the age of AI. Our main rival, China, does not struggle with building physical infrastructure. They already have more than twice of our generating capacity, and uh, if, uh, if the key bottleneck for AI is power, we are already starting from behind. Fortunately, the energy demands of AI require more than just building concrete and steel. They require innovation, efficiency, and strategic foresight. The, ur the urgency of this issue is building at the highest levels of our government. Just two weeks ago, the White House convened a meeting on this very topic, underscoring its critical importance to our national interests. And in a moment, uh, you will hear from the Secretary of Energy, Jennifer Granholm, on how she is approaching this challenge. Today, we hope to build on that momentum by bringing together the brightest minds from government, industry, and academia to start a course forward. As some of you may know, I previously served as the Executive Director of the National Security Commission on AI. I can say without hesitation that the AI landscape has never looked as urgent or as, or as critical as it does now. The decisions we make today about our energy infrastructure will shape the future of AI, and by extension, the future of our nation for decades to come. This summit is just the beginning. It's the first in a series of AI Plus summits that we at SESP we will be hosting, each focusing on a critical aspect of the AI ecosystem. Our next summit will explore AI Plus Robotics, scheduled for October 23rd. And this series will culminate in our second annual Expo for National Competitiveness, scheduled for next June, more precisely, June 2nd through 4th. We're honored to have an extraordinary group of speakers and participants here today. We have leaders from across the spectrum of technology, energy, and policy. Your insights and expertise will be invaluable as we tackle this challenge. As we begin our discussions today, I urge each of you to think boldly together. The challenge before us is immense, and so is the opportunity. By addressing the energy needs of AI, we're not just solving a technical problem. We're laying the groundwork for a new era of American innovation and leadership. Thank you all for being here today. Let's get to work on powering the future of AI.